Hi Roses, it's Sugar Rose Studios and today I'm going to be teaching you how to paint horse eyes on small models. So I'm going to be teaching you how to do a blue eye as well as a just normal brown or black-ish colored eye. So the materials that you're going to need are some just a variety of different paint colors. So the main ones that we'll be using are white, uh, black, and then brown or blue, depending on what color eye that you're doing. You're obviously gonna need your model that you're painting the eye for. Um, you're gonna need some really small brushes. Um, you're also gonna need some water. And then for glossing at the end, I use this gloss varnish um, that's by Vallejo. And you can find all of these products on my Amazon storefront page under repainting materials. Okay, so let's get started. So for the white paint that I use for the eye, I use a little bit of a milkier white that is a little bit more liquid. So I'm not gonna be using my thicker uh, body acrylic. You wanna use a soft body acrylic, meaning that it is more liquid. So I'm using this. It's just a basic um, student's acrylic that's just white and a little bit watered down. So you wanna take a really small brush and take your white paint and then just go around to the top to the front of the eye and just put in white and just make sure you stay within the range of the eyeball and depending on what look you want the eye to have like what expression you want the horse to have then you can add white in the back but for the most part you're just going to see a little bit of white in the corners of the front and at least in my experience people kind of like seeing eyes that aren't like an actual horse on a model horse they kind of like them to be a little bit more human looking i don't know that's just my experience they seem to look a little bit better when they look a little bit more human but if you're aiming for more realism then you are going to not want to see a lot of white because a lot of different horses don't have a lot of whites on their eyes and this will depend on the horse that you're painting so it's really good to have reference pictures I have a few reference pictures of horse eyes here and I just use these to help me and as you can see it depends on the horse and um, what color their eye is and just the horse itself. So make sure that you're looking at a reference picture because most horses don't have a lot of whites visible. Before going on to the next step you want to make sure that the white is completely dry. You don't want any mixing. So next you're going to want to take a liquidish black so a little bit watered down but not super watered down like still really pigmented but just not thick and goopy and then you want to go onto the eye and just do kind of like go right up to the edge of the white and leave a little bit left and then you still have the black all the way back to the edge so that's what you want so you just leave a tiny little bit of white in the corner and then i'm just going to go and do that on the other side and like i said depending on the expression you want your horse to have that will be determined by the amount of white that you have in the eye and before you go on to the next step, you want to make sure that the black completely dry. Now you want to take a kind of brown chestnutty color, depending on the color of the eye. So these are brown, going to be brown eyes. And you're just going to want to take a little bit of this and make sure it's only a tiny bit. And then you're going to want to define out the pupil. And basically the idea is you want to leave a tiny little rim around the pupil of black. And you can achieve a little bit better coverage if you add just a little bit of water to make it flow a little bit easier. And then before going on to the last step, make sure that you are completely dry. And then I use a little bit of the black paint again and kind of make an ovalish looking shape. For models, I usually make it a little bit bigger than it would be in real life, just because people usually tend to prefer that, and it just makes them look a little bit, I don't know, nicer looking. 
for a blue eye, I have a pretty similar thing that I do. So the first step is to just take the white again. Except this time, you want to cover the entire eye. So I use two different kinds of, two different colors of blue. The light blue and just like a darker blue. And you really only need a tiny little bit of this, especially working on really small scale models. And then you also want to water down your darker blue just a little bit. So I always just leave a tiny little bubble of water on my painting tray, just so I can help with that. And that will help things just flow a little bit better too. So take your light blue and then cover where the eye, where the pupil is going to be, but leave a little bit of white in the back. Now you want to take a tiny little bit of the darker blue and mix that with a little bit of water and you really only want to take a tiny little bit of this and once it's dry just kind of go around the edge of the eye and try to blend it inwards a little bit and then take a little bit of your lighter pigment and put it in the middle and just kind of blend that together. And do the same thing on the other side. In real life, a horse's eye is probably not going to be this blue, but I find that if you don't make it very obvious on models, you can't really tell that the eye is blue. It kind of just looks like a grayish color. Depends on the level of realism that you want to have, but I know that most people who have models kind of just want the eye to look blue. And then wait until it is completely dried. Now use your kind of liquid black again and go and make the iris. The last thing that I do is add the gloss varnish and so I just take the gloss varnish and really carefully just put on a tiny little bit and you have to be really careful because it will make everything glossy even if you wipe it off it will kind of still stay glossy so you really have to make sure that you just get it on the eyes and then just wait for that to dry if you're doing this on a smaller model you can apply this with a toothpick I would not recommend using a paintbrush because it will stiffen the brushes very quickly and you'll basically ruin your paintbrush just as an example this is what happened to my paintbrush that I tried to use with it it will get super gunky so don't use a paintbrush to apply unless you're going to throw it out thank you guys so much for watching I hope your model horse eyes end up beautiful